Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to source for all the drama, tea, and headlines in the music industry. Today, we're diving into some not-so-sexy news about Sexy Red. Yep, the Pound Town Queen has hit a bit of a rough patch with her upcoming Sexy Red for President tour. Spoiler alert, some of her shows got canceled and fans are not happy. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Sexy Red's tour was supposed to kick off tomorrow, August 22nd, in Seattle at Whammy Theater. But guess what? Seattle fans are getting ghosted and not in the fun, spooky way. Same with fans in Portland on August 23rd and Oakland on August 26th. All those shows got the ax. Now you might be wondering, did Sexy Red at least hit us with an announcement on social media? Nope, not a peep. No Instagram post, no tweet, no story, nothing. It's like she's pulling a Houdini on us. Naturally, fans are out here losing their minds. Listen, when you have fans this invested in seeing you perform, you might wanna drop them a little heads up, right? But why though? Why are these shows getting canceled? Well, folks, it's all about those ticket sales or lack thereof. Back in July, reports showed that only 37% of the 85 000 plus tickets for the tour were sold. That's less than half, and it looks like things haven't improved much since then. Now, I'm no math whiz, but that's not the kind of turnout that fills arenas. More like empty sections with crickets chirping. This is a big deal for Sexy Red, whose star power has been soaring in the hip-hop scene. But it's proof that even rising stars can hit a bump in the road when it comes to live shows. Maybe it's the economy, Maybe it's the venues, or maybe people just aren't vibing with her the way they do on streaming platforms. Now, what's super interesting and kind of strange is that Sexy Red hasn't said anything about these cancellations. Nothing on X, Instagram, or TikTok. Not even a cryptic message like, I'll be back. Fans are understandably upset. I mean, if you had tickets to see your favorite artist and they just ghosted you, wouldn't you be? Fans have been vocal about their disappointment and they're not holding back on social media. The lack of communication is making things worse. Some fans are wondering if this is just bad luck or if it's a sign of deeper issues with the tour or her management. All right, so what do you all think? Is this a big deal or are we blowing things out of proportion? Do you think Sexy Red's music isn't resonating live or is it more about the venue choices? Drop your thoughts in the comments because we wanna hear from you. And as always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the Red Carpet Reup for more exclusive content on your favorite artists. We've got the tea, and trust me, you don't want to miss a drop. Catch you next time.